Huge powder burns, deeply right. burned in. Yeah. Exactly. So he was shot by someone standing right beside him. And by the way, he was the big L.A. coroner, but they went after him, but then he got vindicated later. I mean, this is the coroner, medical examiner, saying he was shot in the back, and, and we have his little friend behind him, and now it's the same gun we know he owned that these uh, acoustics experts have matched. But go ahead. That's right. So the actual killer of uh, Robert Kennedy was a part-time security guard caught named Thane Caesar, and his name has been bounced around for years, and if there's no truth to this, you'd think that Caesar or his family would have filed suit and made lots of money, but nobody said anything. And interestingly enough, <clears throat> his day job was uh, working at a U-2 spy plane facility run by the CIA. So we see the foot prints of CIA and of government. Funny, Lee Harvey uh, Oswald worked at the U-2 spy base. That's true. And Lee Harvey Oswald, by the way, and this has been totally confirmed, was being used operationally by the CIA prior to the assassination. Right. Now, that uh, that control number has now been declassified, but I'm interrupting here. Uh, we're not just saying this about Mr. Caesar. Uh, he's the guy standing right behind Kennedy when all of this happened. And now, this is ABC News, this is CBS, NBC. They're coming out and saying it. The top forensic experts of the country, the top... I mean, the guy that heads up the society, they have gone in with the audio and isolated it to 14 shots, explained that, and then they matched it to the gun that Caesar even had a license for. That's right. There were more shots fired than was possible for uh, Sirhan Sirhan's uh, six-shot revolver to, uh, to accommodate. Now, th everything, this is the same thing that's gone on and on. Uh, Forty years after the Kennedy assassination, we finally, anybody that cared to look, uh, could determine for themselves that he was killed as a result of a conspiracy to track right back to the federal government of the United States. Same thing now with Robert Kennedy. And he had just won the, I mean, he, he had locked in the Democratic nomination. Right. And, but, but my point is, is that 40 years later, it's like, okay, we'll tell the truth now or we'll allow the truth to come out because who's going to do anything? And I say this because 9-11 is not that far back, and we are still embroiled in the effects of 9-11, homeland security, the wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, and it was all based on lies right down the line. And as more information comes out, we're finding that 9-11 was indeed an inside job. Stop there. I want to get into that in closing, but let's go back for people to be clear, for police officers listening, for instance. It's mainstream news admitted the coroner, the police, and they were told to shut up about it. Fourteen bullet holes. They dug out two different calibers, and Sirhan had this six-shot gun. Right. And they and, and by the way, he was grabbed after the first shot, and his arm pinned down. That's true. The uh, Rafer Johnson and uh, uh, some other big old football player, Rosie Greer, they all jumped on him. Okay, he may have gotten off one decent shot, and the rest of the shots went wild. In fact, that's another thing to remember in the death of Robert Kennedy. There were bullet holes in door panels and in the ceiling tiles. These were all taken away by the Los Angeles Police Department and have now disappeared. They're not available to anybody. Okay, if that's not a evidence of a cover-up, then I don't know what it's is. It's the same thing with Oklahoma City. They have controlled demolition incorporated come in and blow up same the rest of the building. Hide it under guard, pour concrete in with the chunks. Same thing with JFK. Same thing with 9/11. Same thing with Waco. Covering up the evidence. Exactly. And uh, they are now so arrogant about it that they don't even take too much pain and trouble to cover it up. They even blow up Building 7 in front of everybody. That's right. <laughs> and then just said, well, there was a little fire in it somewhere. But now we have just everybody, all these physicists, all these scientists, uh, uh, you know, Italian presidents, CIA section chiefs, uh, uh, Willie Nelson. I mean, I mean the... All these top actors, uh, best actress this year. Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, uh, no longer being a neocon, saying they killed Kennedy in the same group that did that, basically did 9-11. I mean, they're losing all their own people. What are they going to do? <laughs> well, uh, unfortunately, they'll probably go to the tactic of desperation. Which nuke. Is to launch another war or to set off a nuke or some terrible uh, uh, terrorist uh, weapon in this country and then of course blame it on foreign terrorists and take more power meanwhile the very same elite with the admitted uh superconducting super colliders and other similar facilities are doing things their own equations say good chance of blowing the entire planet up 
I mean, what's wrong with these people? I don't know, but they need to be stopped. <laughs> They're just totally power mad, aren't they, Jim? Absolutely. Absolutely. And a little power is not enough. It, it's All of this is being orchestrated by the oligarchy that runs this country, the little small... A wealthy elite, and these people deal in millions of dollars. I mean, you know, five, ten million to them is pocket change. Uh, how much more, how much more wealth and power do you want? Well, it's their very nature to be hyper competitive, and uh, they, and plus the, just the, the mad scientist out there who will do anything. I mean, they uh, thousands of factories randomly splicing every type of DNA you can imagine already giving rise to super viruses, super bacteria. I mean, that alone can create the Andromeda strain. I mean, that's why so many top scientists say they believe there's a very low probability that we'll even survive as a species, Jim. Uh, well, uh, if we're going to survive, we better start paying attention and start standing up for ourselves. Uh, well, I'm not an anti-technology person, but we need to put serious brakes on all of these, you know, hyper, uh, you know, you know, sensitive technologies because they admit they're doing all these experiments having no idea what it's going to do. Well, what we need to do is pass some laws that says all of this should be done uh, in the open. Okay, everybody needs to know what they're working on, how they're working on it. Okay, mm -hmm. and that way, then the public can uh, thoughtfully decide if that's. Proper or not. But like Dick Cheney says, he doesn't care what the people want. It doesn't matter. The elite are what they want. Fire out your website, Jim Mars. JimMars.com. Jim, I want to have you on in uh, the next few weeks for two hours. We can really break all this down. Thanks for spending time with us. Okay. Take care. You bet. There goes Jim Mars. JimMars.com. Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com are my websites. We'll be right back.